This video is to show you how to use Kinovia to track the path of projectile. So first of all we've loaded the video in and the first thing we do is crop the video to where it starts. So the ball's about to be launched here. So you can see a little line that represents where we are in the video so I can move what's called the working zone up to there. That just removes um, some of the frames from the memory so it's speed really. Okay, so I'm going to go to the other end and I'm going to catch it right when the ball touches the ground. So the ball's coming down there and it hits the ground there. So that's where I'm going to chop the end of my little video section. Okay, so now I'm going to collect a few positions of the ball. Um, first of all, you might want to just make sure if by going to Options, Preferences and drawings persistence you need to make sure that you're um, you have enabled persistence otherwise what happens is the things you draw on the screen disappear as you move through the video so we want persistence now this is this little cross marker here um, we're going to uh, we can change the colors of it I'm going to keep it let's see what we can do here and change the cross there we are. we're going to make it so it's going to stand out brightly so we'll go for some bright pink I think there we go Okay, so now the little cross, I'm going to put a little bright pink cross on there, and I'm going to run the video through a bit to a later position, a little bit further, and we'll put another cross on, you can kind of put, put loads of crosses on if you want, and we'll put another cross on a bit further on, and every time you put a cross, it pulls a still from the video, and you can see them all appearing below, so if you make a mistake, you just have to close the appropriate one of these. So just say I didn't like the one I've just done, I just click on that and of course it, it gets rid of it. Um, now you only need three to fit a curve but you might want to do a few more than that so I'm just going to put one last one a bit further down. And the ball's just there going past the technology window. So I've got some points, now I want to save that as an image. And the easiest way to do that is to go down to the bottom right here where it says save image. And click on that and that will save it as a JPEG. So I'm going to save it as a tracked image. And there we go, it's all saved. Now, I'm going to load up Geometer Sketchpad because this is what I'm going to use now to um, let's get a new sketch to analyse the image. So I'm going to go to Graph, I'm going to show the grid, and then I'm going to drag my image in. So my image is currently on the desktop, so if I go and find that, there it is, so I drag it in and it sticks on the background, and I'm going to put that down in the middle of the screen, make it nice and big, okay, now I've got my axes here, I'm going to move my axes until I've got them where I want my axes to be, so I'm going to down, right down at the feet here probably, I think it's a good idea. Now, you can adjust your scales using this. Now you might notice numbers um, with the picture, so if you right click on the picture, you should be able to change this object opacity, that's how transparent it is, so I'm going to make the picture a bit more transparent, so that all the stuff stands out a bit better on it. So I'm going to make it easy person in the picture is slightly under 2 metres tall, so that's 190, so fairly tall but not too tall. Don't have to do that. And then I'm going to plot my graph. So graph, plot new function, and this should be something familiar to you from the other day, you're going to fit a curve. So it's a negative quadratic, so it's going to be x, um, minus 3 maybe, close the brackets, squared, and then I don't know, plus 6. Okay, and you look at the top and it should look like you're you're expecting it to look. So we click OK on that and it plots it now. Um, it's all the way over here, it's on 3. Now you're probably thinking, OK, well, he should have put a plus in there really, so let's change that to a plus. And now it's more or less in the right place and I'm going to start fiddling with the number in front of there, so <coughs> make that times perhaps. Two times it. Let's see what that does. OK, that squishes it in, so maybe if I make it a bit smaller, 0.5 perhaps, 
stretch it. Okay, that's looking a bit better, but it's in the wrong place. So you get the idea, and you're going to match the curve to there. And when you've done, you're going to screenshot it and make a nice um, record of it that you can print out and stick in your maths book. Hope that was helpful. Good luck.